now. And good evening. Breaking off the top right now, a massive manhunt over a teen murder suspect who stabbed his brother to death and then attacked his father. Deputies say the suspect was severely injured after jumping in front of a moving car. Local 10's Janine Stanwood is in Isla Morada with this family tragedy. Such a tragic story that started right here at the Executive Bay Club in Isla Morada and ended up steps away on the overseas highway. A shocking end to a tragic story. A 17 year old wanted for murder rushed to the hospital and clinging to life after witnesses say he ran from Founders Park in Isla Morada and jumped into oncoming traffic on US one. I think he caught the mirror and his body completely flipped around before he hit the road. The manhunt for Daniel Weisberger was on for most of Thursday after Monroe County Sheriff's deputies say he stabbed his little brother Pascal early in the morning and then went after their father. Both seen here. The father, 43 year old Ariel Pahalik, starts banging on neighbors doors at the Executive Bay Club condominiums. The older son had stabbed, slashed and butchered the young son. The father had come in to try to see what was going on when he was also attacked. The father relays that he was held hostage in that room for approximately two hours while he had multiple injuries to his neck. But after a desperate search for Weisberger, he would emerge just steps from where the crime occurred. Witnesses say it looked like he was trying to hurt himself. His uncle tells us on the phone the family is still trying to make sense of it all. Daniel is um, actually a, a great kid, but a troubled kid and um, has been in and out of the system for a while and has had a lot of troubles. And so um, it's really hard to understand. It's very senseless. That father who's now lost one of his sons at last check was at Jackson Memorial Hospital in stable condition. We're in Isla Morada. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News.